So my second best decision that I ever did for my nail business was I implemented a no-show and a late client policy. And I enforced it evenly across the board because here's what happened. In my mid to late 20s, I was getting so burned out and so frustrated with clients like I, that I had on my books. Like, you know how it is when sometimes you see a client's name on your book and you just start, your stomach hurts, you, you know you're going to see them the next day, you're so anxiety ridden, you're just worked up, um, you're losing money because you've got people not showing up for appointments they made which takes away um, that appointment spot from other people. So now you've lost an hour or two of your income. I mean, everything. And then clients dragging in late, you know, I would always say that client made me late because you know, the first client's late, then it snowballs to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And by the end of the night, you're running 45 minutes late. You're pissed off, you're hungry, you're hangry. You're just mad at the world and you're, and me, I would be like, that client made me, that client made me late, blah, blah. In my mid to late twenties, I had to do an analysis of my business. I was ready to quit. I was ready to quit. And I had to take control of it because I was either gonna let all these people run me out of the business or I was gonna take control of my own business like I should as a business person. You see what I'm saying? So I had to face the fact that no client made me do anything. No client makes you do anything. We respond to the client's actions by acquiescing to what they want. Like, take for instance, us running late. Client comes 10 minutes late. Well, then that we're, we're trying to catch up. They may have a bad set of nails going on, a lot of cracks, things that need work. Now we're 15, 20 minutes late for the next. And it snowballs on and on and on and on. Well, I realized I was punishing all of my good clients after that late client by accommodating that late client and giving her the full service that she had booked, even though she left me not enough time to do that full service by when she showed up for whatever issues were going on on her end. You know what I mean? So I had to take control. I had to get a backbone and actually make policies and enforce these policies. So what I would do from then on was client that is late, um, I'd be texting them and be like, hey girl, you almost here? Hey, it's like five after and then I'm calling. Hey, you know, where are you at? You're supposed to be here, you know? Uh, when they come dragging in, like, they'll be like, oh, sorry, I was caught up in traffic and blah, blah, blah. And I always, I don't say, oh, that's okay. Because as soon as you say that's okay, that's giving them permission. They never say that's okay. Take it out of your vocabulary. I would say, well, hurry up, wash up, sit down. We'll do what we can do in the time you've allowed me. That's the key right there. The time you've allowed me. And then you just do it. And so like I had a policy, they would get an abbreviated service. They may not get two full coats of color. They may not get any coats of color. They may, they're not getting the artwork that they wanted. You know, it's just not happening. They've left me 45 minutes for an hour service. So something's gotta give because I'm not going to punish the next client who is on time or early and the next client and the next client and the next client. So by implementing these policies and enforcing them evenly across the board, I simplified my life, honey. It weeded out all the bad ones who, I can't say bad clients, they just weren't a good fit for me and they didn't respect boundaries. So when I require people to be on time because I am running on time, I make it a point to run on time, then they need to make it a point to be here on time. So that's how I did my business best thing ever. I'll talk about the no-shows and how I handle that in the next video.